Hello everyone and welcome back to another glorious day in Prince Edward Island. We're at the Sea, Sand and Stars Cottage and I'm here with Jean and Irene, you know, the wonderful owners of this cottage. Now, uh, Jean and Irene, I've got a couple quick questions and maybe we can help our viewers sort of understand a little bit about where we are and what's available in the area, as well as get to know a little bit about the cottage you have to offer. Now, Irene, I was wondering if you could tell us just a little bit about the cottage itself, the services that are available and, and, and what sort of things are available in the kitchen and the, you know those sorts of things for somebody who's going to come and stay. What do they have to bring with them? You don't have to bring anything to cook with. We have all the cookware. We have plenty of dishes for you and all day long. You can do dishes at night. Um, we have um, food processor, blender, mix masters, all the gourmet things that you might need if it's a rainy day and you want to be a gourmet cook. We have lobster cooker and all the lobster equipment that you need to eat. So absolutely prepared. We usually have a bit of food in the pantry, so even if you get here in the evening and need some Ichaban soup or something, it will probably be here to tide you over till tomorrow morning. Very well. Thanks very much, Irene. Now, we're also happy to be you know, located on a pretty unique end of the island. We're up near Tignish, and as the, you know, the viewers can see, we have a beautiful beach behind us. But now that we're here, you know, we're going to stay maybe three, four days a week, maybe two. In fact, if I was the viewing audience, I might stay for two weeks just being here myself. So if you are going to stay some time, what are you going to do and what are you going to go see, Gene? Well, you can uh, see the church in Tignish. You, there's golf courses nearby. Uh, you can see them uh, fishing for lobster, uh, usually in the summer, and uh, if not lobster, other uh, fish. And um, you can um, go to restaurants, there's very nice restaurants at the end of the city. Uh, North uh, Cape is a, um, a lighthouse that's uh, very well known, and West Cape is another lighthouse on the other direction uh, that's uh, very well known. This is on the western side of uh, Prince Edward Island. Uh, if you could see across, you could see uh, New Brunswick, but it's, uh, it has to be a very uh, calm day to be able to do that. Um, other things to see and do are there's a potato museum at O'Leary, which is not very far away, Alberton, and uh, as I said, Tignish already. And uh, there's just a, a variety of things to do. And if you want to, it, uh, and most people will do this, you can take a day and drive to Cavendish. It's only about an hour and a half away. And you spend the whole day at Cavendish and seeing all the uh, and uh, sort of things. Okay, yeah, so Anna Green Gables, Cavendish Beach, all the amusements. What else did he forget, Irene? Well, I think the very most important thing is that you spend time just relaxing here. You relax on the beach, playing in with the toys, playing in the water. The water is pretty shallow, so um, you don't have to worry about your kids dropping off a cliff out there. Um, there's lots of beach toys. You can walk, walk for miles. You can walk to Mimnagash, which has a harbor, and lobster boats come in at about 3.30 in the afternoon um, between July and or is August, I guess it is, and October. Earlier, they come in with scallops. You can buy your fresh seafood there, or you can go to the local little stores and buy fresh seafood. So you can cook and eat seafood and just um, enjoy, sit and relax. If it's raining, sit in the veranda and just read and enjoy that time too. All right then, folks, you heard it here. You can pretty much do anything you want, eat anything you want, have it as fresh as you want. You can spend time with the family, nice, safe beach for the kids. You know, short day trips into Anna Green Gables, Cavendish Beach, Summerside for shopping. And, you know, not far really from the bridge that crosses over uh, the Confederation Bridge from New Brunswick. So we'd love to see you all come out here to Prince Edward Island, spend some time at the cottage, and uh, Jean and Irene would be happy to be your hosts. So thank you all very much for watching.